Good morning. Happy Friday. I hope that you are very, very well and have had a fantastic week. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I just couldn't fit it in yesterday. Um, so I thought, you know what, we'll just do it Friday and have our makeup done for Friday night, which can be fun too. So what have you done over the week? Have you got up to anything exciting? Has uh, Christmas fever taken over you? Um, yes, there is a Christmas tree just over here. Beep, beep, right there. Yes, I have already put it up. I am one of those crazy people. Uh, the pageant, the Christmas pageant was on here in Adelaide on Saturday. And so I was like, mm, I just got to put my tree up because it makes me feel happy. I love Christmas decorations. Merry Christmas. Um, and it's fun. So I have put up my Christmas decorations. What about you? How are you going with your Christmas Ness. Um, have you started? Are you not ready yet? And um, do you like decorations? I do. I love anything Christmassy. It's just fun. And I just love the magic of it and all the stories. And yes, I'm a Hallmark Christmas movie tragic as well. <laughs> so uh, there's all some admissions right there. Um, but you know, if you are a fellow lover of Christmas, give us a heart because it is fun. Um, I've also cut my hair off this week, cut about that much off. So um, my hair's nice um, and fresh. Um, and I've had my eyebrows on. Like, what a great week! So, how has your week been? Um, I am going to get into some makeup today, and I'm really, really excited to um, showcase these. So these baked eyeshadow trios that Mary Kay have put out for uh, Christmas and a bit longer, but at the moment, um, aren't they gorgeous? So this one is glowing rose. So we're going to base most of the look around this because, well, I'm also a rose gold lover. Um, but I, I will also use just a little bit of the morning toffee palette as well. Um, and then mix it with our normal chroma fusion range. So there's going to be a bit of everything and I just want to show you how you can mix and match and they're made to work together. So we're going to start obviously with foundation um, and I'm going to start with my Honey Glow Finisher. Have you tried this yet? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I love, love, love it. It is a primer but it's also skincare, I guess. So it um, smooths out your skin, it helps with the look of wrinkles, it's healthy. It's got like this really honey texture that's gorgeous. Um, and so what I love the most is it just gives this um, glow under your foundation and to your skin. So if you like that, and you, it means that if you're using a matte foundation, you can still look luminous. Um, you don't have to be using that extra moisturized luminous foundation if that's not for you um, but this still gives you that really nice highlighted look without it going crazy highlighter and if you're afraid of using highlighter because well you don't want to look sweaty um, this is your friend um, because it can just give you a subtle glow from the under out which is nice so my foundation of choice today is beige N150 in the new TimeWise 3D in matte. Uh, I love these foundations. I've seen quite a few ladies this week. We did a, did a foundation class and it was just so fun just to match them and just have a little bit of fun. Hi, Shani. Um, so if you have not found your perfect match yet, you need to get in touch. I'm going to use the oval blending brush because this stuff is amazing. It's super light, lasts all day, and it blends just beautifully. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. Ow. Plus, we have a competition going on at the moment that if you do, you know, take a selfie of yourself with your TimeWise cover on, hashtag I am truly and Mary Kay, and you can win a pack. 
So if you have a Time Wise Foundation and any consultants watching, get on it. Try and win it. Everyone has the chance and that's exciting. So Christmas rehearsal last night. I love Christmas music as well. Yeah, I love just all Christmas. But I was saying to my students yesterday, my singing students, you know, they want to sing a Christmas song as we're going into the last few weeks of term and all of that. And they're like, yeah. And some of them have no idea what their favorite Christmas song is. They don't really care. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, granted, I like all of them. But, um, you know, you sort of like, ooh, how do you not have a favorite? I have so many favorites. What is your favorite Christmas song? And if you were my singing student, what would you sing? Because I'm just going to put another layer on because I want it um, quite flawless. <laughs> Today, just with the look that I'm going for. And that's the beauty of this foundation as well. It's buildable. So... You know how some foundations you can build it on and it looks cakey and you look all gross? Well, that does not happen with this one. And you can use whatever applicator you want to get it on. You might want um, you might want to use one of these, the oval blending brush. You might use a sponge, the blending sponge or the, um, the liquid foundation brush, this one, which is my personal favorite. Like, I love it. I love this too, because they all give different finishes. It just depends what I'm feeling like on the day. Um, but yeah, so I am going to go in and you can see that that has a really nice, um, glow to it because of the honey glow finisher. Um, it just really is so, so beautiful. Um, I'm just going to grab my deep ivory concealer and put a little bit on the back of my hand. Now you could use the applicator in here. I'm just going to get a fine um, concealer brush because I only need to conceal just a couple of spots. So this is spot concealing. So this is great if, like, for instance, too, you know, um, you just have, a, like, a single spot. You don't want to put the concealer everywhere because that's just going to make it all the same. So when you're concealing, you, you really just want to put it on the dark bits. The same, same as under here. Um, when you put, like, an under eye corrector or a concealer, you want to make sure you just put it on the dark bits because if you put it on all of it, it's just going to all look the same color. And then you, you'll still look dark. Or you'll just look cakey like you've got too much on. Um, so that's what we're trying to stop. All right. I think that's done for that. Swell. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this over my eyelids, actually, um, as a sort of a primer. Um, today, I just want to really brighten them up. You can put the uh, eye primer on because that's fabulous too um, for helping eyeshadow to stay a really long time to give it something to grip to if you have sweaty eyelids yes that is a thing um, or oily eyelids use some primer or concealer or whatever over your eyelids and everything will last longer look brighter eye cream's really good too make sure you've got a good eye cream always my fave so um the other thing with so i put concealer on my um eyelids the other thing too is you might want to if you're not putting a lot on and you're not even putting a lot of um eyeshadow on or that and you have like quite defined um, veins or whatever on your eyelids you you might want to spot correct them because that way it'll just give an even palette but just make sure that your concealer matches your skin 
Um, and that's another thing too, this one, oh my gosh, there's so many exciting things. But if you, through your Mary Kay Gonzong, um, purchase a foundation and your concealer, you get a free under eye corrector, which we all know is the bomb, <laughs> under eye corrector and blending sponge. So jump on that, contact her or me. I can help and give you freebies, um, which is great. Okay. So foundation base is on. I'm going to brush my eyebrows. I love brushing my eyebrows. It's fun. Did you see my video yesterday of me getting them threaded? Go check it out if you haven't seen it. My eyebrow lady Rima at Angels of Beauty um, on Kensington Road is awesome. We get on really well. And she does an amazing job. And I love getting them threaded because they just sit nice out. But what I'm going to do to them today, I'm going to just give them just a touch of help. Um, so I'm going to grab, and I don't need a lot, like when they're freshly done, honestly, unless you want them super defined, um, you don't have to do a lot. To, well, I don't have to do a lot to them because, um, so I'm going to use just some espresso on my eyebrow brush. Um, I just sort of give them a line and fill in those just little bits that aren't as full. So you can see how that instantly just defines them just that tad bit more. Um, dee dee dee. So there we go. So I just, I just like to fill in, basically fill in the cracks is what we're doing. Um, just evening them out a bit. The other thing you can do, and I, I've had some new customers this week try it and it looked, it was just amazing to showcase how well it works, is the volumizing brow tint. Um, really that for giving you natural looking brows, it's amazing. Love it. So you might notice too what I'm doing. I'm balancing my hand because, you, you know, I'm trying to draw straight lines and trying to fill in certain spots and balance my little finger against my nose um, to just give some somewhere as a base point because otherwise you're sort of all over the place. And when I do this side, funnily enough, I balance my little finger against my cheek. So... Just work out what works for you so that you're not, you don't feel like you're lost. Because I believe in you. I believe you can do it. Don't tell me you can't. I can't show you how. All right. Eyebrows done. Let's do eyes. So we are starting. Um, I'm going to build this color gradually up. And you want to do it softly. So you don't want to go in there with crazy all over the place you just want to gradually build the color so we're going to start with dusty rose which is um a chroma fusion color it's a matte and it's just in that same color you could also use the one next to it which was soft heather um this is just a little palette that i've created i've got a few different ones that i really love and this one's uh, the matte sort of pinks and purples and this one's the browns and blacks and I use these palettes all the time so if you're keen to know what colors are in these palettes let me know and we can make that up for you no worries so we're going to go in with this pink one and I'm just using this dome shape brush and I'm going to just make sure there's not a lot on my brush and I'm just lightly coming in so there's nothing full-on about this at the moment I am literally just softly blending that in and just I've sort of done it in the across my um, brow bone so in the crease because I want to build the color up there but just slightly so we just Building it gradually. We're doing nothing crazy yet. Well, we're about to do it crazy, but 
whatever. <laughs> so now I want you to grab the Glowing Rose palette. So this is gorgeous and I do love, love it. Um, so I encourage you to have a look at these baked eyeshadow trees. Not only are they 15% off for November, December, so that makes them $19. Um, you get three colors, they all work together, or you can mix and match. So that is amazing. Love it. So I'm going to grab a brush, maybe go with this one. Just a, so you can see it's a angled brush. And we're going to go in with the darkest color right in here. Now this is slightly shimmery. But I'm going to just start filling up and across. So you can see that that's quite different in the color from the dusty ro rose one, but absolutely gorgeous. And I love just the intensity of the colors. You don't have to use a lot to get a really nice color scheme going. Um, it's the beauty of all of these. So nice. But I also caution you because sometimes they can just go a bit crazy. <laughs> and that's also fun, but you know, one of my favorite classes to teach people is the smoky eye class. And we have so much fun because you get to do things that you don't, you wouldn't normally do because I know that you get afraid and, and all of that to try things, but I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush just to blend that in a bit. Um, but you don't have to be afraid. It's not tattoo. It comes off. And so smoky eye classes are great. But I'm always like cautioning people when they want to use the black. It's like, whoa. So intense. Alright. I'm just going under slightly as well. So now that is the deeper color from the Glowing Rose palette. Now I want to grab my other one. Isn't this the most beautiful one? Oh, so beautiful. It has a big mirror, you can fit lots of things in it. So I am just going to use now some, where is it? I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to grab some hazelnut which is this one, which is like a flat brown, you know, absolute favorite. If you ever watch my lives, you'll know I use it a lot. And I am just blending this at the edges, sort of deepening the color just a little bit so that it's not so bam. You can make it bam if you want to. Go ahead, leave it. It's up to you. Fluffy brush, blending it in. The key is blending. Blend, blend, blend. I was only saying that this week I taught <laughs> my nieces and well, my nephew that he would say it if I asked him to. Um, we always laugh because I say to them, blend, blend, blend. So from a little age, <laughs> early age, they were like, blend, blend, blend. Because it's so important. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just add some color in there. Now, if you go back and you look at it and you go, you know what, I want it to be a bit more vibrant, and I kind of do because I like vibrant. So just go back in with your, with your bright color and just build it up as you want. Have a play, have fun with it. Look, it's the party, it's the silly season, it's the party season. So I think it's fun. Hi, Christy. How are you going? I think have a play. It's always fun. That's it. So we're going to put some color right there in the middle. Now I'm going to actually grab that. Uh, there's two brushes I could grab here. Hmm. 
because I really want to make sure this color is like padded on. Oh, this will work. So I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to put this color on it. So this is the lightest color from the Glowing Rose palette. And I'm going to press it in here and press it onto the other color as well. So we're just pressing, pressing. And the reason I'm pressing and patting is because I want it to be vibrant. Now, the other way you can make this even more vibrant if you've gone a little bit far with the other colors um, is you can always put a little bit more eye primer or a little touch more of your concealer on the top just to give it you know that extra pow <laughs> um, but mine's actually going okay can you see that is it shiny so I'm gonna do the other side patting it in it's just like painting I love all these Christmas products that are out. I'll be doing some other um, makeup looks with the new colors, but also, um, oh, we have a fabulous pamper evening next week, which I'm so excited about. If you're in Adelaide, I so would love you to attend. Um, it's a Christmas pamper evening. We will be having, there'll be pamper tables, there'll be freebies and gifts special deals only available on the night to help you with your christmas shopping but to pamper you while you're doing it so you can um you can go visit each table you can get little samples if you rsvp to me you get a free gift if you bring people you get a free gift um it's just going to be a really lovely night. There's food, there's drink. I'll be doing mini makeovers and I just would love you to be there. So let me know if you're in Adelaide and that's consultants and, you know, anybody. So if you are a client of mine or maybe you're not yet, maybe you've never tried it, come along. I'd love to see you there. Um, you don't have to be a client of mine. You could be a client of any of our consultants of my radiance unit um, to come along. I'd love to see you now. Look at that. So we've got a little bit of shimmer going on there, which is really pretty. Um, but I'm going to add to that even more and I'm going to grab this color, which is in the morning toffee. Um, and I'm just going to, I think I'm going to grab this brush and just grab a little bit of this and pat that right in here because it's just that tad bit even more shimmery and so it just builds it up beautifully all of the fun so it's just really brightening and opening the eye up. Now, what I want to do too is just grab maybe a little bit. Oh, no, maybe we'll just use this color. I want to just put some up here. So I'm just using, going back to the brush that I used, that first shimmer color and just putting it up there for a little bit of shimmer shine up there. So, woo, love it. So it's nice and shimmery um, and just, but rose goldy, which is so, so much fun. So now I am going to put some gel eyeliner on in black. You could use your normal eyeliner. Um, it's totally up to you what you want to do. You might not want to do any eyeliner, but since it's Friday, I think it's time for a bit of fun, don't you? Yeah. So, let 
let's put this on always the trickiest part do you like eyeliner do you wear eyeliner do you want to learn about eyeliner they're my questions for you and please answer them hi Glenda answer them um, even if you're watching this like later not live oh please answer the questions I'd love to hear from you I'd love to hear what you do what you think oh got some in the wrong spot um, yeah let me know I love reading the comments and I love finding out if it helps you um, or whatever it helps me know and if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to do live um, let me know too so I'm just trying to line that up the same which I haven't done <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, it's gone crazy. Crazy on the one side. Hold that thought, everyone. I'm back. So, just going to use a cotton tip with some makeup remover this is the best if you haven't tried it before you should it's amazing I'm just going to swipe it there because that is not the place that I want it so then just go back in Grab this brush to fix that. There we go. See, we all make mistakes. It goes a bit crazy sometimes. I have like good days and bad days and I don't know whether this happens to you like but just some days it's like you just have this massive struggle to get the eyeliner where you want it to be and then other days you do it and it's just like bam done easy does this happen to you? Okay. I think we're almost done. I'm just going to get a little bit more. Sometimes too, um, I find with gel, i got to make sure I have enough actually on the brush because um, sometimes if you don't have that right amount on the brush, um, it is actually harder to get what you want. Okay, so because the other side is slightly thicker, I'm just even that up a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think we're right now. Ah, oh, fun. Well, it's good. It shows you that it happens to all of us. <laughs> okay. So, eyeliner is on. Basically, it matches. And the rest of it is still good. Um, I am just going to grab my brush to get that sort of pinky color I'm just gonna t put a touch more like under here because it kind of just makes it 
a little bit more fun. And then lashes. Woo! Um, this is so good too, by the way. This I make it smoother. Yes. So good. Alright, I'm gonna grab an eyelash curler. Just do that. Now you don't have to do this. I have rather long eyelashes. So and they usually sit up quite well, but some days I just want it to be really good. So I make sure they are really sitting up. I just noticed that this is really just want to fix that a little bit. All right. So I've done that. Now I always put on some um Lash primer. I love it. It makes my lashes even more conditioned. I mean, our mascaras are beautiful for that. But this just really conditions them and also just helps everything stay in place for longer. So while that's drying, I'm just going to um, do underneath here. And I am going to grab under eye corrector and just put it in that dippy bit under there I actually don't my circles aren't too dark today which is good but when you're using a pinky sort of red color you want to just make sure that everything is tidy um, and clean because um, you know you don't look like you've got pink eye or whatever um, you don't you just want to make sure that everything looks clean um, you'll find that it's the same with any kind of lines the the cleaner your brushes are when you're using them the better and more vibrant the color will look um, if your face is cleaner the more vibrant the color will look because it's just got that bounce off effect so I really encourage you to um, make sure you do that. I'm going to grab my, oh, actually I've got it on my hand, concealer. And I'm just going to do a touch of contouring as well. Now you could use um, all different things here. You could use illuminating drops. Um, you could use your concealer. You can use the highlighting powder. I'm just doing a quick conceal with um, conceal contour because I like that it's quick and easy okay so eyelashes I'm going to use my lash intensity because that is my favorite now you could put on fake lashes this is a great look for a Christmas look or a party look um, and so Go ahead and put fake lashes on if you want to put fake lashes on. Uh, it'll just give it some real extra power. And also, if you've done this sort of real winged eyeliner, um, it's perfect to put eyelashes on. But I find that my lashes are intense enough as it is. And let it dry in between coats um, so that it really enhances. Because you can see how that just fills it all in. So I'm using the short side first because it just distributes the product, gives it that volume. And then turn it around, use the long side. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'll show you in a minute. to give it the length that you want. So utilize your tools. That's what I would say. You've got one mascara here and you can do so, so much. Now I'm doing all of my lashes all the way in to make it 
extra impact. But you can see, so you've got a long side and a short side. Long side, short side. So put on as many layers as you want. Um, just separate them. But great. Okay. So rest of the face. So we have, um, we fixed up underneath. I'm going to put a layer of powder over the top because um, I really like, yeah, I really like to set my foundation with powder. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of Silver Sands, the illuminating drops as well, just on my cheek first. Now you could use these. These are so handy. So you can use them mixed in with your foundation. You can use them as eyeshadow, as highlighter, mix it in your body lotion, and you can have a shimmery body. Um, like just a, you know, pretty shimmer over your skin. Um, so there's like different ways to use them. Um, put them there and there and your lips will look fuller. So much you can do. All right, I'm going to go in with first some Ivory two powder and just lightly dust it over. I don't don't need a lot of powder. It's just um, I prefer it. Just I like it set that way. And I want it to last really all, all day. That. And then I'm actually going to grab beige one powder and I know that might seem ridiculous but I always have the both of them there and it's just to give a slight contour now we have awesome contouring powders as well which you could go ahead with um, and use but I just like to use this Because it's a really good contour match for my skin, so. Alright, and then a bit of blush. So we've got a rose gold sort of palette um, going with the eyes. So I want to just continue that and I'm going to just go though with a hint of pink, which is this one right here, um, which is actually a matte. You could go with, well, any that you like really. Depends on what you're doing with your lips. I'm going to have sort of a nudish lip. Nudish. It's an odd way. You could go with a berry. You can go, you can go with whatever you like really it's up to you but this is the look that I'm doing but I do love this hint of pink um, because it just is quite a natural color in a matte and I already have those illuminating drops on so they're underneath just giving some highlighter now if you want to go more of course go more you can use the highlighting powder use the tip of this brush and just Put that over the top and wherever you want. Um, but I just really like this hint of pink. It's just nice. I also like, well, I like all of them actually. And I use them all differently at all different times. Um, but when you're choosing a blush, try and match the most of, in the same family, your lips and cheeks. So if you're a pink lipstick where you want to go with a slightly more pinker blush um, if you're more neutral head that way so you don't want to be too out of sorts with it, each other um, and usually you can find one or two that'll go for everything so if that you know th hopefully that helps now we're going to do just um, some lips so what I'm doing is I'm going to grab rosewood and 
Um, over the top, I'm going to put Pink Parfait lip gloss. Um, but I thought I'd just also grab this rose liner. And just put a touch of that. Rosewood Semi Shine Lipstick. One of my all time faves. Now, you could leave it as is if you want to. But I'm actually going to put some Pink Parfait lip gloss over the top. Now, this is a really interesting color because I would never wear this on its own. Um, but over the top of certain lipstick, it just gives a fabulous nude, shiny lip. Um, it's fantastic over Naturally Buff, um, which is another semi-shine. Also Bashful You, which is a semi-matte. Um, and I like putting it over this as well. sort of helps to nude out but pink off um, the rosewood which like although rosewood looks quite sort of nudey this just gives it a little extra so there we go that is today's look so it is a real mixture use of the new glowing rose pal palette the Baked Eyeshadow Trio. So fabulous, fabulous, and is on special at the moment, so don't miss out on that. Um, and then I used a little bit of the Morning Toffee one as well, just to give an extra bit of sparkle. Um, we did use, of course, the new foundations, the Honey Glow Finisher, um, and just an array of the or our normal range so that it shows you you can mix and match and find a look that suits you so if you do try this look I would love to hear about it I'd love to see what you're doing have a go have some fun with it um, and just enjoy enjoy makeup enjoy having fun over the Christmas season spruce up your makeup look and um, have a bit of a play so if I can be of any help please let me know I'd love to help you out I will put a description of all the products that I use today in in the description and uh, also a link to uh, my website if you want to go grab them uh, there are some special deals out that you can only get exclusively through me so please contact me for that um, and or your your Mary Kay lady and I hope to see you at the Christmas pamper evening next week so have a fantastic weekend uh, I hope to see you very very soon if you like this give us a little heart and uh, share it wherever you'd like to share it because I hope that it helps. That's my, my biggest thing is to help women find their version of beautiful. So have a fabulous day and I'll catch you very, very soon. Bye.